For a new name. Amen. Amen. Please sit down. I want to remind you something. Because this evening I will do a lot of quotes. I want to quote the national evangelist now. I remember he said that in this revival God will pass through clapping of hands and bless somebody. God will pass through singing of songs and bless somebody. In the area of prayer somebody will receive a new name. What does that imply? Do not allow any aspect of this meeting to elude you. Be fully ready. And today you will receive the greater blessings from the Lord. So we are starting as we call our Father Pastor H. I. Henry to take the opening hymn. Praise the Lord. In fordrance of praise, we sing from a redemption hymnal, redemption hymnal 750. Redemption hymn now 750. We have heard a joyful sound. Jesus save. Spread the gladness all around. Jesus save. Bear the news to every land. Climb the step and cross the wave. Onward is our Lord's command. Jesus save. Yes, la la la. La la la. Ikwa ngweri kwa ifak. Ikwa iki ita yitun. Kengweri kwa ifang kang yani iki ita yitun. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us stand to sing redemption hymn now. 750. We have heard a joyful sound. Jesus says, Jesus says, spread the night, let all around. Jesus says, Jesus says, get a news to Oh, 
standing we want to worship the Lord. I don't have to put words into your mouth. You know what God has done. Today is the third day of this great revival. The Lord has been so mindful of us. We take the song. Tis the Lord Oh, wondrous story, tis the Lord, the King of glory, at his feet we humbly bow, round him cry.
and begin to worship the Lord. You know you are talking to me too. I'm on you. Worship the Lord, worship Him, magnify Him, give Him the glory due unto His holy name. For He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. There is no one like unto our God. mighty name we pray. Amen. We want to worship God with our substance as we take this tongue. I Souls in the house, be on your feet as you celebrate Jesus with a dance. Come on, come on. Hey, Anna, say that I say, 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 Anna, say that I say. Let's go. 
you glorify your name. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for accepting our worship. May your name forever be glorified. Amen. In Jesus mighty name we worship. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh? Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Nyafu, nyafu. And you go sit down the job record with your new name. Amen. Amen. This evening, we have two choirs to render their anthem. First, we are going to take Mabodu area youth Thereafter, Bashwa Area Combined Choir will sing. And I know as they are rendering this ministration, the glory of God will manifest in your life to the extent that you will not forget your pocket. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you know God has given you a new name, shout hallelujah. Change me, darkness suck me down, but Jesus put me out, and I'm no longer bound. I'm so glad it changed me. See, I'm now a new creation in Christ. The old has gone, there's new life. I live by faith, not by sight. Jesus opened my eyes, now I see the light. I'm so glad he changed me. Help me down, but Jesus will be down, and it's all over me. I'm so glad he changed me. See, I now a new creation in Christ.
Yes. You're supposed to celebrate them. Yes. Bashra area is filing out now for five minutes.
Amen. Amen. The simple interpretation of that anthem says, the name of Jesus is the only name that saved. And when you have that name, you are saved. Tonight, the name of Jesus will be sufficient unto you. Amen. Young Jesus, say you tomorrow came through, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I told us at the beginning that this evening I will make some quotations. Today is a unique day. Why is it so unique? Because it's the third day. Hallelujah. Amen. The third day of this program. And when you look, it's stand in between the beginning and the end. Whatever you are going to receive today is going to be permanent. Can somebody say louder? Amen. Amen. The third day is very significant. Because it's a special day on which God creates new life. And activates his covenant for humanity. And by so doing, I want to quote. And I want to quote the national evangelist. And this one, I pray. Are you ready to pray? Listen. I remember. On the first day, he said, "In this program, he don't want to see you going here and there. Don't move here and there. Because in the hour of prayer, all things we move out of somebody. Bad luck we move out of somebody. Misfortune. We go out of somebody. Do not allow it to land on you while you are moving about. Be ready to receive what the Lord wants to give to you tonight. Because of the significance of the third day, tonight is a night of replacement. Those who have been recorded for death will receive new life. Healing will Success will replace failure. And so, I have the singular honor to invite to the microphone our father, Pastor D.K. Ogonayo. A of Alaba International Evangelist. And Alaba that the Lord has prepared to use for this prayer. Rise up and shout hallelujah. <laughs> All those that God has prepared this night for. That whenever you remember this night, you will continue to glorify God. Shout hallelujah! hallelujah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Those people that mock you, <laughs> those that have gathered themselves to be mocking you, <laughs> those that are making jest of you, <laughs> After tonight, they will see you and be weeping. Amen. What will make them to be weeping? Those things they are seeing in your life Mem that make them to mock you, they are no more seeing it. Mem 
So as we take this song, you will rush to the front as we pray. Please be prepared because something unusual will happen now. Are you ready? Yes. E di wak e sang e sang e uko ke e yo e se me di ma e su e toro e toro e Can you clap your hand? Let me hear you. E di wak e sang e sang e uko ke. Maybe you are, you don't know that there is power in your clapping. Some people make just a few yesterday. Or maybe you don't know the meaning of that song. Some people were making just of you. But after now, they will see the glory of God in your life. Now sing that song very well. In the next two minutes. found a young man whom the people gathered to make jest of. And we can find the story in Judges chapter 16. Verse 23 and 24. There we found people that gathered together to make jest of the glory of a glorious man. You know the story very well, the story of Samson. We all know that Samson was a man of glory. But he found himself in a situation where people gathered to mock him. They were using him to, uh, to make jests. But little did they know that was the day then their own life will end. Let me tell somebody here this evening. Those people that are gathering to mock you. The fire of God shall scatter them now. Amen. You will cry with a loud voice. And tell the Lord. Say father. People have gathered to mock me. Arise and scatter them. People have gathered to mock me. Arise and scatter them. Are you ready to pray? Shall we pray? 
saying? Pray fervently. People have gathered to mock me. People have gathered, they are mocking me. Oh Lord, arise and scatter them. Oh Lord, arise and scatter them. 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 Jesus, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Take the prayer again. It's just three prayer points we want to pray. But we will take them fervently. People gather to mock this man. Who are those that have gathered to mock you? In your father's house, they are mocking you. In your husband's family, they are mocking you. In your wife's family, they are mocking you. In the compound where you are living, they are mocking you. In the community, they are mocking you. Cry to God. You know that even in the church, there, there are some people they know how to mock. They are mocking you. Ah, God, we scatter them now. Amen. Cry to God fervently. You will call the name of Jesus once. And you will say, Father. People are mocking me. They have gathered themselves together to mock me. Oh, my father. Arise and scatter them. Are you ready? Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. Pray fervently. People have gathered to mock me. Father, scatter them. 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 Now, 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 now. Scatter them 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 now. Cry to God. Scatter them now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Before we leave that prayer point. What are people seeing in your life that they are using to mock you? What is that sickness they are seeing in your life that they are using to mock you? What is that problem they are seeing in your life that they are using to mock you? You will cry to God. Tell the Lord, say, Father. Say, Father. me. The battle that have taken my name from me. The woman with the issue of blood, who can tell me her name in the Bible? Eh? Do you know her name? Please go and make a research and come and tell me her name. The woman, the, the woman with family, 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 problem that we are passing through. Today, today, everything that people are using to call you, which is not your original name, they shall depart from your life. Amen. I say they shall depart from your life. Amen. I say they shall depart from your life. Amen. Cry with 
loudly with a loud voice. Say this battle is not mine. Say Are you the owner? <laughs> the owner will carry his own load today. Amen. Cry loudly. Say, Father. 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 This problem that people are seeing in my life is not mine. Take it away from me. Take it out of my life. It's not mine. It's, it's not mine. 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 Take it away. Take it away. I don't need it again. I don't need it again. Take it away from me. Take it away from me. This barrenness is not my own. This infirmity is not my own. This sickness is not my own. Father, take it away. 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 Now. No! 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's quickly take the second one. Please stand right. That young man we, we spoke about earlier. I told you it's a glorious, it was a glorious man. But look at where his glory landed him. His glory met him at the place of Dagon. Cry to God. There are many here with glory, but your glory is speaking in the place of idol. Your glory is speaking in the place of Baba Your glory is speaking in a shrine in your village. So many, their glory have been tied to a tree somewhere. Cry with a loud voice. Say, Father. What is my glory doing in the place of Dagoon? What is my glory doing in I in the place of idol? What is my glory doing in a shrine of Babalawa? Right now, by your mighty hand, by your mighty hand, deliver me. Sandayaba. Yay! Deliver me! Permission! 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 Ah ah, you are not speaking! You are not speaking! My glory, my glory, my glory, my glory, what are you doing in the place of Dagu? In the place of Dagu, I command you now, oh yeah, leave, leave that place, leave that place, leave that place, leave that place, now, 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 in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. <laughs> you, that woman. From when I do. Demonic deposits. They have deposited demonic things inside your womb. A semi to the demon. People are seeing you as if you are pregnant. They are looking at you today. It seems as if you are pregnant. 
Tomorrow, it seems nothing is there. The Lord said, is the work of the enemy. They sent an arrow into your womb. And people are now seeing it as if you are pregnant. The Lord said, before you leave here today, that thing will disappear. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Verse 14. Okay. Let's take this one again. Before we take the third one. Lift up your two hands. Close your eyes, everybody. And make sure you can shout with a loud voice. You will cry in the name of Jesus once. Please don't wait for anybody. And don't allow the voice of the person standing by you. Don't allow the voice of that person to swallow your voice. You just cry loudly. In the name of Jesus. After that, you will be crying. Then come out. My glory. My glory. My glory. You will call him night good times. After the night one, you will say, I command you by fire. Leave the place of Dagoon. Leave the place of idol. Leave that shrine. Come back to me. Me. Come back to me. Are you ready? Shall we pray? My glory. 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 Uh -huh, uh -huh. Come out from the place of the goo. Come out, 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 my glory, my glory, my glory, my glory, my glory, my glory. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Cry, 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 cry. That glory must leave that place. It must live now. 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 Come out, 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 come out. Aha, aha. Yes, your glory is coming out. You are the owner of the glory. You are the owner of 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 glory. I am the owner. Say, I am the owner. 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 Come back to me. Come back. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Uh -huh. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. I believe you can clap now. The third one we are taking it in sound. Make sure you can clap very well. The fire of God is coming upon you to establish that glory in your life. The yoke they used to bound your glory to Dagoon. As you are clapping now, as you are singing and clapping, the yoke will be cut off. 
I said the yoke will be cut off. I said the yoke will be cut off. You, that woman that have been arrowed in the womb, please, wherever you are, make sure you can clap at this time. Because those things they parted into your life. That you are carrying a bar for years. I don't know how many. Those things are coming out. They 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 are coming out. Amen. Clap. Let me hear you. Let me hear the sound of your hand. Aha. 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 Amen. 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 Make sure your hand is sounding like that. As the, as the song is coming, make sure you are clapping. The fire of God is going to pass through your, your life now. Holy Ghost is now your time, oh man. Holy Ghost is now your time, oh. 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 Holy Ghost, release your fire, really. Holy Ghost, release your fire. 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 Aha! Aha! Oh yeah! Release your fire, 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 Holy Ghost, 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 
Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Aha, Fire, 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 Calibro Sintahama. Yes, I command. Every glory in the place of Dagoon. Every glory in the house of Idol. I command you now because that place is not your place. Come out in the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Everyone here that people have gathered and they are mocking their glory. Remember me Wherever they've gathered around you and they are mocking you. Because they will allow you to answer the loudest amen now. I command that they scatter now in the name of yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every yoke that is bonding you. In the place of Dagon, I command the yoke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I oh, am black in the name of Jesus. Yes. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus, you that woman. That which the wicked deposited in your womb. Either through the physical realm or through the spiritual realm. As you answer the loudest amen. I command it out of your life in the name yeah. of Jesus. Oh yeah, receive your testimony. Receive your testimony. In the name of God the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You are taking this song as you are going back to your seat. The Lord has answered my prayer. He has blessed me already. The Lord has answered my prayer. He has blessed me already. The Lord has answered my prayer. He has blessed me already. The Lord has answered my prayer. He has blessed me already. The Lord has answered my prayer. Already, answer my prayer. Bless me already. 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 Answer my prayer. Bless me already.
Yourself. Ah, ah. To God be the glory. Everybody sat down by themselves. That means everybody is healthy. Amen. Amen. Now, before we will move further, we want to listen to some notices. As will be related to us by our father, Pastor J. Ebon, the Secretary Planning Committee. Okay. When we come my mommy come to the bank, I mommy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, before the end of this program, somebody will be congratulated. Amen. Come for now, but see, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And no matter how many people gather against you, the Lord will prepare a table before you in their presence. Amen. We want to remind us that this program continues tomorrow. Uh, that will be day four of the program. And we believe that sincerely as you follow on, God will give you greater joy. Amen. Uh, that same tomorrow, we three areas or three groups of choristers will sing. And that will be great Elasa area ministers' wives. Aja area combined choir. Then the toy corner they didn't just talk it. They told the Aja area. Yeko. And satellite town area combined choir. We came down to the toy corner they didn't just talk it. Satellite. Yeko. And I want to remind all of us. Then they have been having the That in the course of the program, it's the last day of that Sunday. Okay. It is not my me. I made it there for through and Sunday. By one p.m. All of us will be expected to be in a witness uniform as we storm the environment and tell them Jesus needs all of them. And that should be in the witnesses open air campaign. And don't forget, and don't forget that that Sunday this program will continue by 4 p.m. Witnesses out in 1 p.m. And the program will start by 4 p.m. God bless all the witnesses and their uniforms in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to also remind us that we have provided a pack for all the vehicles that will come to this program at Elijah Primary School. Please wisely use that park for we provide security for your vehicles. And Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are told that the Lord, by the mantle of this day, great revival, has inspired our brothers who are blind and lame and are here in this program. Many 
Okay. The blind Amen. and the lame, they are here in this revival. Yes, we want to appeal to those who brought them, please bring them into the hall. Let them be honorably, seat, honorably seated somewhere within the hall. Before the end of this program, they will jump for joy. Amen. 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 We want to remind our fathers, the elders, that the meeting that was scheduled for tomorrow all over Lona has been shifted and rescheduled to Saturdays 18 and Saturday 25, subject to the convenience of the area superintendents and their councils. In the month of May. God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to please continually appeal to all of us that to please respect and obey the security men and the ushers so that they can conveniently manage our space and the car parks. Please, we want to remind the elders that their space is here by the left hand of the pulpit. So you leave the seat in the hall for our brothers and sisters. The seat is there. Okay. And hereafter, the city's, the city's crusade press team will take over. Then God Executive announcement, we shall hear from the fathers. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God has so designed this program for your good. To make everything falls into the public holidays and the weekend. So if there have been anything that want to stand as barrier, God has removed them ahead of time. And that means nothing can stop your miracle. The reason why I am saying this, yesterday, our father said, the Lord wants to give you earthquake miracle. Am I correct? Okay. Let me announce the one for today. Because after this time, you will see the hand of God. The one for today is a net breaking breakthrough miracle. A net breaking. Okay. Yes. A net breaking breakthrough miracle. That is what the Lord wants to do now. Don't forget. The national evangelist said on the first day. When you are clapping hands, miracle will happen. When you are singing, miracle will happen. When you are praying, miracle will happen. When you are dancing, miracle will happen. Now the city crusade pressed him. They are stand by now to sin. To release the glory of God. For your miracle. For your next breaking testimony. Shall we rise up on our feet whenever we are in this atmosphere? Suka paria tilia da farada baria na mana kosha tilia tilia da farada. Wherever you are, raise the sound of worship to the Most High. On the gallery, inside the auditorium, outside the auditorium, raise your hands to Jesus. Come on, come on, Jesus. Aya da farada kosha da baria tilia farada liata. 
It's an avenue for you to be on the face of Jesus Christ tonight. Hallelujah. I would like to share this with us while we were preparing for this program. He said, don't see this time as an as a routine, like a normal routine that you've never seen before. Like before our father comes to minister, the praise team will come and minister. This is an avenue for you to behold the face of the Lord. So the fact that the angels can behold the face of the Lord, we also, as the image of the Lord, behold the face of the Most High. I would like you to pick a normal position, a convenient posture for yourself. Don't let anybody to touch you in the corner. Find a place, find a place in yourself. Find a place in yourself.
pastor this evening. Hallelujah. Take away man from the picture now. You are ready to give your dances offering to the most high. Are you ready? Where's your handkerchief? Let me see your handkerchief. Hey.
begin to worship the king of kings say lord i appreciate you lord i glorify you for your glory in this service worship him worship him worship him worship him you too can sing a song unto him sing a song unto him You are the mighty God, the great, the great I, am. I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God. Everybody, the great. The great You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Who is lying unto thee? Yeah, he paid blind. 
save soul. Amen. Perform miracles. Amen. Touch every heart. Amen. Bless us maximally. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How many of you believe that tonight is your night? I can't hear your response. Okay. Do you believe that tonight is the night of your friends? Do you believe that tonight is the night of your neighbor? How many of you believe that tonight is his own night? If you believe, make a louder shout of hallelujah. Stand right, stand right, stand right. Before we sit down, we want to do one thing. God told me in the evening before I came in my short prayer what to be done tonight. And we are going to do one of them now and others later. Listen, listen carefully. In one military cantonment, something happened. A soldier arrested a driver because of reckless driving on the road. And the soldier brought the driver to the cantonment. And the soldier started torturing the driver. How many of you have witnessed the torture of a soldier before? <laughs> the soldier was torturing brutally the driver. As the torture was going on, one soldier who seems to be the boss of the other soldier was coming. He, he was coming to the scene of the torture. The moment the driver was able to see that a superior to his to the other uh, soldier was coming. He just managed himself to go before the other. He said, Sir, Sir, authorize that this torture should stop. Ah. He looked at him. He said, Please, please authorize that this torture must stop. The language moved the soldier. And he said, I authorize you. Stop the torture. And immediately, he stopped the torture. Today, you are going to say, Jesus! Jesus! Authorize my trouble to stop. That's all. What will happen to the trouble? How many of you know the difference between appeal and command? Which one will happen immediately? I can't hear your response. Another word for command is authorization. You will say, Jesus, Jesus. authorize my suffering. To stop. Authorize my trouble. To stop. And the moment Jesus says, Jesus, I authorize the trouble to stop. Wherever the trouble lasts are, they will stop working immediately. But mind you, the driver cried. When, when he saw the superior coming, he cried. 
Yes, you don't go to the And then authorize the torture to stop. I stand on this holy altar. Every demon that is torturing you in your dream, I authorize the demons to stop. Are you ready? Tonight is the end of your trouble in Jesus' name. Can somebody cry loudly and say, Jesus, Jesus, authorize my trouble to stop. Open your mouth and pray. Authorize my sickness to stop. Authorize my trouble to stop. Aha. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. One more, then we'll preach. Can somebody say Jesus? They were coming to Jesus. The men over there, can you speak louder and say Jesus? Jesus. Authorize my sickness to stop. Now you me how many of you believe that the sickness will stop today? Do you believe? Say, Jesus! Jesus! Authorize my sickness! Authorize my sickness! To stop! Permanently! Open your mouth and pray! Authorize my sickness to stop! Permanently. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lord, you are the chief authorizer. Your people have called upon you. Therefore, answer their prayers. Amen. Authorize their trouble to stop. Amen. Authorize their suffering to stop. Amen. Unto anyone who circle of amen reaches heaven, I authorize your trouble to stop. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sit down, sit down joyfully. 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 Now we have got to a crucial time when nothing by all means should take away your attention. Those who are working should work diligently. Make sure you tap nobody. Make sure you take away the attention of anyone. Let everybody prepare his soul, spirit, and body. You can remind me the team of the revival. What do you say? Thank you. Today we are taking another subtopic. Before I announce it, let's read Second Peter chapter one, verse four. And when I finish the reading, I humbly request that you rise to your feet for prayer. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4. Read it. Read it. 
Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might, part, might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Shall, shall we rise? Yeah, you that good. Father, minister to our soul. Amen. Every stony heart, break it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let there be great change in our life. Amen. Let there be salvation of soul in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let miracle accompany it. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sit down. So what it here. Today, the topic of the message is change your nature. Your name will change. Change your nature. Your name will change. And you have heard from the portion read, Second Peter 1.4. Gently point at your neighbor sitting beside you. Tell, so him, you tell him or her, change your nature, your name will change. Yeah. Turn to the other side. Say, change your nature, your name will change. Thank you. Any revival that does not touch souls is a jamboree. Change your nature. Your name will change. A new name without a new nature is a deadly deception. Galatians 6.15 says, With Galatians says, for in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new nature, a new creature, a new nature, a new creature. God will Christ Jesus, the number B, many young trendy number B, he named the Bible from the market, he decided to find it, he did not go far, or Do not be deceived. A, a man can give you a nice name, but he cannot give you a good nature. Many people are here present. They are sleeping on the mat of deception. In what way? In what way? They claim to have new name, 
but they didn't have new nature. In Christian journey, one thing I discover that can take a man to hell fire is deception. Deception is not far from you. Let, 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 let me give you a short illustration about deception. One day, a man woke up and he took his little daughter to the beach. He take it. He de married up. I die praying when I see a kite and Ben Mongo Mosica, they gave one door to do. I lay in the morning. Who said, Uba? When they got to the beach, the boys and them Ben up by Yamami. The father told the little daughter, Enter. The water. And the daughter said, Daddy, ah, it's too cold, I can't enter. The father said, Enter now, you won't feel much cold. The little daughter said, No, Daddy, I, I can't. And the father said, okay, wait. Give me a few minutes. We take your phone. The father beckoned to somebody around. He asked the person to put water into the kettle of tea. And boil the water. And when the water was boiled in the kettle, the father took the kettle. He said, my daughter, see, this is hot water. And he poured the water in the ocean. He said, you can see now. He said, now enter the water. Answer me. Can the water in the kettle <laughs> control the cold in the sea? That is deception. They will tell you, no problem. You are qualified for heaven. Whereas you are dangling towards S fire. Change your nature. Your name will change. Any pastor who is a deceiver will be used as firewood, if possible, in the hellfire. Why? Do I say so? If your nature is not changed, your name can never be changed. Salvation assurance is not about a nice name. It is about new nature. Some people will get to their house today and they will not sleep overnight. Because today you will see clearly if you are a candidate for heaven. If your nature is 
not changed. No one, nothing can change your name. Diego Bonfo, me, Borokere, Baba Mbon, Domri, Domri, Bore, and Yamfo. A new name from the mouth of God is for only those whose nature is changed. Opo fanya na mi otore inu a Jehovah enye na me mommy e porere odu otumo Eba let's move on Ya yeah, ikai so what is the bad nature and why must it be changed So it is idio odu oro wo e mi na re nte pore What is the bad nature and why must it be changed So it is idio odu oro wo before I tell you, let me break it down for you to the point that the layman will understand my message. I think I should let you know what the nature actually means. Because you may think that the firmament, the sun, the moon, the stars, all comprise the nature. That is not the nature I'm talking about. What is the nature that must be changed? This is what you inherited in the womb and the lifestyle you are living, starting from the womb. I will still give you an illustration to explain the nature. Everybody, look here. See me. What is this? So you hear me? This is. So you hear me? What, a white handkerchief. I fear from anyone. Abi. Mm. Let's assume that this is a snake. Yeah, I buy the car. We cut. You hear me? And the snake is hungry. The embryo don't work. We cut me. And I take my best meal. I give the snake. And I put the snake down. What do you think the snake will do to me? I did not mean so. I did not mean so. But it will, it will bite me. What about the food I give to it? What made it to bite me? It's nature. Thank you. The nature of a snake is to bite. Either you do him good or bad. That is the nature. But who do a good record? It is the domo wo. Who put my name set for a meeting for no one? Who do a romadi? I na ye domo wo. The nature is not the body. It's not your handsomeness. It's not your beauty. It's not your eloquence. It is not your perfection. It is what you are inside that controls your life. Let's move on. What does it mean to become a born again? Ah, uh, 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 anyway, anyway, and my prayer, let me just reserve it. My prayer is that the evangelism of Satan will stop in the world. 
Because many people claim to be Christians, but nature is not changed. To become a born again means, it means, I say it means the nature you were born with is removed and the new nature enters you. However, some people are here as I'm preaching. They are going to see their picture. You are going to see the nature in you which does not qualify you for heaven. If you die today without the change of the nature, you can't go. Let me mention just few. Some people have the nature of the peacock. peacock. Look at the peacock. Look at the screen. This is what is called peacock. Have you seen it before? Maybe the picture, the video. Do you see this bed? It has in a, a, a bad nature. What is the nature? You, you can see the way it is. In, in the morning, this is how it will do. Before you know, it will be shaking it like this. What does that connote? That is the nature of pride. The nature of what? The nature of pride. The spirit of pride is in it. The spirit of arrogance. We call it arrogant mind. It is a nature. Anybody who has such nature all this while you have been in the church and the nature has not been changed, you can't have a new name. Because when the nature of a peacock leaves you, the nature of a dove will come. That is the nature of humility. Let me tell you another nature. The nature of the he goat. 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 This is an egoat. A boy boradako. What is the nature of this animal? So he did what unamami. What is the nature of this animal? So he did what a boy boat. Number one, kids. The nature of incontinency. Who do me? Me yen again song on that. The nature of what? The nature of fornication. The nature of lust. Do you know that he goat can sleep with his mother? We have some people. We have some people. They are not worried to sleep with their daughter. Bad nature. Idiot. The 
the nature of fornication. When you are still fornicating, who told you that a fornicator will inherit the kingdom of God? You said I didn't want to do it. But you couldn't because it is your nature. It is your nature. It is your nature. Let me give you another one. The nature of the peak. The nature of the peak. What is the nature of this animal? Filthiness, spirit of filthiness. Spirit Some people are here. Up to this moment, you are always meditating. You are always thinking about filthy things. Your mind is the architecture of sexual immorality. Your mind is the architecture of sexual immorality. Your mind is the architecture how you, you, you are thinking it in your mind. That is the spirit of a peak. Not only that, the spirit of drunkenness. Spirit The revival in the apostolic church the apostolic church is the pathway to the kingdom of heaven. You are not called just for fun. You are called for a purpose. You are called to make it to the kingdom of heaven. The apostolic church let me tell you another one. The nature of a leopard. Who do it? Ekbe. <laughs> leopard. Ekbe. The nature of leopard. Unamado. How many of you have seen this animal before? As you are looking at this animal, this animal Unamami. is a wicked animal. Very wicked. If another animal is delivering a baby, the mother of the animal is in travel delivering the baby. And leopard sees the animal. It will go there, kill the mother, and kill the child. There is one thing I discover in the life of this animal. It is the spirit of anger that leads to destruction and wickedness. Spirit This animal is a wicked animal. Wicked animal. Those of you who have studied animal very well. It has no mercy. Okay. Now, how can you get a new name if the nature of this kind of animal is in you? How possible? Thank you, sir. It's not possible. Up to today, it was something we still have some people who have the spirit of witchcraft. I think I said it two weeks ago. 
during our special week at Olorunda, I said, I aim at publishing a book. And I will release the book. The last day I will say, I retire from the Apostolic Church. I'm going to my home. And the book is all about witches and witchcraft. But the moment I release the book, I pack my load and go. I tell you, I think I'm going to write about it better. I have prowess, great prowess about witches and witchcraft. Maybe because they always oppose the ministry of evangelists, so I have to know about them. That was a day God was telling me, do you know the switch of a wish? The switch, the switch. switch. The switch. That is what switches them on or off. You know, the spirit is in them. The spirit of witchcraft is in them. The spirit doesn't just walk. It has a switch. I said, I don't know. In the dream. I said, I don't know. And they said, this switch of a witch is anger. When they are angry, they will want to do evil. If you are here today and the spirit of a witch is in you, it's the bad nature. It's a bad nature. There is no way you can get a new name with such nature. Do not forget. Change your nature, your Boy, name will change. Oh, but, oh, let, oh, yeah, but, oh. let me give you one more. One more. Okay, the nature of the serpent. Who do it? Who do we got? The nature of the serpent. Who do it? Who do we got? What is the nature of the serpent? So he do it. Who do we got? In fact. Well, my fathers are here. All my fathers, all my baba, they are here. Do you know that in the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, you can't find the word snake. King James fashion, you can't find the word snake. You can, you can only find serpent. Why is it, is it so? Why the Bible translation does not translate the Hebrew word or the Greek word of snake to the Bible? Rather than use snake, they use serpent. Why? Why? Do you want me to tell you the reason? Wave your hand if you want me to tell you. Wonderful. The reason is this. We have some snakes. They didn't hide their identity. We have some snakes that are not poisonous. Then we have some snakes that when they bite you, you can still reverse the venom. But serpents are very deceitful. Serpents, if serpents bite you, Hardly you can reverse the phenomenon. What does that connote? We have some Christians who have the nature of the serpent. 
idiot economy. They deceive you. Aye, biyanga fi. Sanga yankari ye biyanga. Serpents are very deceitful. Mo yoko ye biyanga. That is why you must know God. You must know God. Do not know anybody, but try to know God. Serpent can deceive you. Serpent deceived Eve. And they lost the glory up to today. It is the work of serpent. Oh, some people are hearing my voice. You lost your matrimonial home because somebody deceived you. Serpent. Spirit of serpent. Spirit. Anyone you find, and we are dancing together, we are praying together. We are jumping together, but he is deceiving you. Just know quite all right that the nature of deception, the nature of deceit is in him. But I have good news for you today. Should I tell you the news? All bad natures that will not allow you to make it to heaven. Today, Jesus will change them. Amen. Before I stop this sermon, within two, three minutes, let me tell you three tips to changing a bad nature. Three just three things which are very potent, very important. Three things that can help you to change your nature. Three things. How many things? How many? Let me ask you, how many of you want your nature to be changed? Okay, that's very good. So you need the three things. What are those three things? Number one, you must be in Christ and not just in the church. You must be in Christ, not just in the church. You must be in Christ and not just in the church. Those who are in the church but not in, in Christ, do you know their names? Those who are in, in the church but not in Christ, they have a name. They are called nominal Christians. And nominal Christian can never be normal. What are they called? Nominal Christians. The meaning of nominal Christian, those who just those who are Christian by what? By mouth. But not by nature. Somebody will get to his house today. The pocket, your pot, you put somewhere before you came. And somebody has removed it. Which has been angering you. You will see the same thing when you get to your house today. You won't be angry at all. Because new nature will come upon you. Number two. You need the grace of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You need the grace of Jesus Christ. 
Why do you need the grace of Jesus Christ to change your nature? The answer, the answer is simple. You cannot change your nature by yourself. So you need to come under the altar of grace and say, Jesus, I have seen my picture. Release your grace upon me so that my nature will change. And the last one. You must possess the Holy Spirit genuinely. You must possess the Holy Spirit genuinely. I appreciate my colleagues that you have been working since three days ago. It's as if they have been told what God has communicated to me about this revival. They are given 30 minutes to minister. I watch the administration critically and carefully. When they spend about 25 minutes, they use the remaining 5 minutes to tarry for the Holy Spirit. The, the nature of a man will change the day you receive the Holy Spirit genuinely. Therefore, tonight, the Holy Spirit is coming upon you and your nature will change. Everybody rise to your feet. Begin to ask God. Begin to ask God. Tell him to change your nature. Say, Jesus, change my nature. Change my nature. Which nature in you that you want God to change? Change your nature and your name will change. Everybody begin to pray. I give you one minute to pray that God let my nature be changed today so that I will get a new name. Let my nature be changed. Let my nature be changed. Let my nature be changed. Lord, change my nature. Change my nature. Change my nature. Change my nature. Is there any nature in you that you know which the preacher does not mention? And you want God to change the nature? Ask God to help you today. The moment your nature is changed, your name will change automatically. The moment your nature is changed, your name will change automatically. Say, Lord, change my nature. Change my nature. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Open your eyes. How many of you have a certain nature? Even Maybe among the one I mentioned or the one I did not mention and you want God to change the nature. You really want God to change it today. We found me a of your case for get my men and I do when do some my banana and do some banana and if I'm off your take good water to do when we found get get my money up about your body of it about that part of it for me. Do you have a particular nature that you want God to change? If you have it, I congratulate you. Because God is going to change the nature. Therefore, are, everywhere is filled up. Inside, outside. And you know, this auditorium is very small. Anyone who has a particular nature that you want God to change, please come and we'll pray for you. You have, you have a particular nature that you want God to change. Come. Inside, outside, wherever you are, please, the usher, 
the usher. Let them let them climb up. Let them climb up. Let them climb up. You have a particular nature. You want God to change. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Rise up. You have a particular nature that you want God to change. You know your own. I know my own. Everybody knows his own. Come quickly. You have a particle inside, outside. Except those who are on gallery, you are still under the roof. Those are the extension outside. You have a nature that you want God to change. Please come before the altar. This, this is the evidence and assurance of your salvation. You want God to change your nature. Come quickly, those of you are sick of me. Please, there is space over there. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, if you are coming, come quickly now. Come quickly now. Those of you from outside, please come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Because after this revival, your lifestyle must change. If you are sitting there, one spirit is telling you to join them, another one is telling you to sit down there. That is the spirit of the devil. Why can't you defeat the devil? The if your devil. nature, if your nature is not changed, you can't have a new name. We don't deceive in the apostolic church. We tell you the truth, point blank. Point blank. You want God to change your nature. The congregation, sit down for one minute. I will still ask you to stand up. Those of you coming, please. Come inside. Come inside. More people are on the way coming. A lot, so many people are outside. Come over, come over, come over. Come over. Come over. Come over. Come over. After this one, we are taking the prayer session. This is the real thing. This is the real thing. This is the real thing. We must not just conclude that because we are in the church, we are all saved. Now, those of you standing before the altar, open your eyes. Look, look at me. Look at me. Listen to this. You know, I told you that you cannot change your nature by yourself. Can you change it by yourself? No, this is my clothes. I can decide to change this one and put another one. But my nature, I can't change it by myself. Or can you change your own? Okay. The only one that can change your nature is the Holy Spirit. This calculation is very simple. If I ask you now, how many of you have received the Holy Spirit? So many of you will raise your hand. Because you are speaking in tongues. Ah, because you are prophesying. If you receive the Holy Spirit and your nature is not changed, that spirit is not genuine. The only spirit must change your nature. Therefore, therefore, what we want to do within two, three minutes is for the Holy Spirit to come upon you. The new Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, new nature will automatically follow. Because you will no longer be interested in the old nature anymore. Are you ready? What do you say? Say it louder. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, do this thing within two minutes. Close your eyes. Begin to say, 
Jesus, wash my heart clean. Jesus, Jesus, keep on saying it. Keep on saying it. Jesus, wash me, wash me, wash my heart. Wash my mind. Jesus, wash my mind. Wash my mind. Yet I keep me. Wash my mind. Yet I keep me. Wash my mind. Yet I keep Wash my heart. Yet I said me. Wash my heart. Yet I said me. Wash my mind. Yet I keep me. Wash my mind. Yet I keep me. Wash, wash, wash. Yet, wash, 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 wash. Yet me. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Jesus, wash me. Jesus, yet me. Wash me. Yet me. Wash my heart. Yet I said me. Wash my mind. Yet I keep me. Wash me. Wash me. Yet 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 me. As we are saying that, yes, we are that today, begin to say, Jesus, Jesus, change my bad nature. Change my bad nature. Change my bad nature. Jesus. Jesus. Change my bad nature. Everybody should concentrate. 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 Lord, change my bad nature. Change my bad nature. I'm tired of this bad nature. Ah, I'm tired of this bad lifestyle. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this bad nature. I'm tired of this bad life. This bad lifestyle. Change my nature. Jesus change my nature. Jesus change my nature. Change my nature. Change my nature. And the last one say, begins to say, Jesus, release your Holy Spirit genuinely on me so that my nature will change. Begin to say that. Begin to say that. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, release the Holy Spirit on me. My spirit me genuinely, spirit so that my nature will change. My nature will me up so that my nature will change. My nature will me up release the Holy Spirit on me. My spirit me them. Release the Holy Spirit on me. My spirit me them. Genuinely, a a so that my nature will change. My nature will me up I want to make it to heaven. I want to go to heaven. I want to be a candidate for heaven. The Holy Spirit. Come upon me. Come upon me. Everybody say a louder amen. Open your eyes. I'm going to pray for you now. New nature is, is coming to your life expressly. Through whom? Through whom? Huh? Through the Holy Spirit. Everybody close your eyes. Now the congregation rise up. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Expect the Holy Spirit. It doesn't require struggle. The Holy Spirit is not the spirit of peacock. This is not spiritual spirit. Idiot in one room. Open your your heart while you close your eyes. Open your heart while you close your eyes. That is the fundian for Bob and Yen Fu. Expect the Holy Spirit. Bring them the bodies and the spirit. Close your eyes so that you will concentrate. Bob and Yen for not to rest it for Tara. That is why we ask you to close your yes, eyes. Yes, we don't have So that we concentrate. Expect the Holy Spirit. 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 Expect Him. 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 
Expect him. He's coming. 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 Expect him. Expect him. He's now entering. He's entering. He's entering. Is entering. Is entering. Be ready to possess him now. Be ready. Be ready. The Holy Spirit is here. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready to possess him. Be ready to possess him. The new Holy Spirit that will change your lifestyle is coming. Yes. Is coming to you. Be ready to possess him. You know, it's a spirit. You have to possess him. It's a spirit. You have to possess him. Uh-huh. You can begin to feel him now. You can begin to feel him. The Holy Spirit. spirit. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Spiritual washing is going on. Spirit created fear, son, I came in. God is removing the bad nature. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is coming to stay and abide permanently with you. The spirit of lust, fornication, peacock, animal, snake, serpent, God is taking them away. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Aha, aha. He has completed the work in your own life now. New nature has come in. Aha. Don't touch anybody. Please, please, please. Don't touch anybody. Don't. Just leave. Nobody should come. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. You don't need to rescue anybody. Everybody, just stand. 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 The new Holy Spirit. The new Holy Spirit. The new Holy Spirit. The new Holy Spirit. The spirit. The new Holy Spirit. A, spirit. a certain spirit must be moved out, spirit must be cast out. A new spirit will come in. Aha! 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 Possess him. Possess him. Possess him. The Holy Spirit is in this congregation. Possess him. Possess him. New life. New life. New life. New life. New life. Begin to possess him. Possess him. Possess him. Possess him. Possess him. He's changing your nature. He's changing your nature. He's changing your nature. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I now pray that you release gifts unto them. Amen. We don't just want talent. Mm. Talent is for the unbelievers. We don't just want talent. Aha. 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 Release gifts unto them now. The Holy Spirit, release gifts unto them. Gifts. Gift of the Holy Spirit. Fruit of the Holy Spirit. Fruit of the Holy Spirit. Fruit of the Holy Spirit. 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 Now, Holy Spirit, all of them, all of them, every one of them, possess them. Amen. Enter, 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 enter this man. Enter this man. His heart is stony. Holy Spirit, go directly to this man. He's a vessel. He's going to be a minister in nearest me future. Holy Spirit, locate this man. Amen. Locate this man. Amen. Locate this man in the congregation. Holy Spirit, locate him. Locate him. Have your way in his life. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Yes. 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 Remove the spirit of womanizing from him. Spirit of womanizing. Remove the bad nature. Remove the bad nature. Remove the bad nature. 
Holy Spirit, now come in. 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 More. More. All of them. 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 Now you are giving gifts. Gifts. Gift. Original speaking in tongue. Original speaking in tongue. Gift of prophecy. Gift of prophecy. Gift of healing. Gift of faith. Receive gifts. Receive gifts. Receive. 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 Receive the fruit. Receive the fruit. The fruit. The fruit. Holiness. Holiness. Faithfulness. Righteousness. Righteousness. New nature. New nature. New nature. New creature. New creature. New creature. New creature. New creature. And right now, Holy Spirit, I pray you open their mouth. You open the mouth of all of them. And they begin to speak in new tongues. And they begin to speak in new tongues. Now your mouth is open. Begin to speak in new tongues. Let them speak in new tongues. Let them speak in new tongues. Let them speak in new tongues. They are new speaking in tongues. They are new 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 tongues. Aha. 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 Gift of prophecy. Begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. You are now a vessel. A vessel. In the hand of God. A vessel. You are filled with the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Fruit of the Holy Spirit. Holiness. Humility. Humility. Faithfulness. Righteousness. Faith. Faith. Receive. 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 Abundantly. 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 Yeah. Abundantly. Abundantly, 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 abundantly. Receive grace, 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 grace. Receive more, more. Holy Spirit is still working. He's still working. He's still working. He's still working. He's still working. Congratulations. 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 Holy Spirit, keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working in their life. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working. As from today, new nature is given to you. Amen. 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 The spirit of pride. Spirit of lust. Spirit of fornication. Spirit of serpent. Spirit of destruction. Spirit of vengeance. Spirit of wickedness. As from today, they are no more in your life. They are no more in your life. They are no more in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. This grace will not depart from you. From now to eternity, the grace will be working for you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say a louder amen. Amen. Now look for one minute before you go. Look at me. Say me. This man put on white shirt. He came here in a fiat form. Abi. Contre. As he put on white shirt. He is in a fiat form. Idem. And he sees somebody carrying palm oil. For the world that that that. Should he mistakenly go and play with somebody who carry palm oil? Do you know what will happen? Huh? What do you say? You will be stained. You got it 100%. Please, as from today, there are friends and relatives, even companions in the school, in your environment, your neighbor, 
that you must no longer relate with. Oh, so that they will not stain your new creator. Very soon you will see me and say, Pastor, since you prayed for us that day, my lifetime has changed. Congratulations, I rejoice with you. You can go back to your seat. Your nature has been changed. That is how Jesus works. That is how Jesus works. Now, let's take these two or three prayers, then we go. And this will be done before 8 p.m., our yeah. closing time. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. You know, yesterday I said we will pray for the traders and so on and so forth. Please, attention, please. Attention, please. Okay, those from outside, let them settle down. I have to announce this to you. It is a message from God. God gave two directives. Okay, sit down, sit down, sit down. So many people are outside. Those of you at the outside, rise up and make a louder shout of hallelujah. Everybody listening. In the evening, before I came, when I was praying, God spoke to me. He said, a woman will be in this office today. Everybody pay attention. God said, the woman is pregnant and she is planning to abort the pregnancy. God said, I should announce to you you should not abort it. Even though you've aborted some, in the past. He asked me to tell you not to abort the pregnancy. The message has been delivered. Number two. God said, somebody is here. Are you with me? God said, somebody is there. Bon, is here. Bon, Someone walked with you and he has left. But you won the person some wages. Even though he has left you, he's no more working with you. God asked me to tell you that you should locate him and pay the wages of the person. Say you should go and pay his wages so that your own way too will open. God bless you. Everybody rise up. Rise up. Let's quickly take this prayer. Quickly, quickly. Say after me. Because of time. Say Jesus. Jesus. Oh, you didn't speak louder. Say Jesus. Jesus. Authorize my helper. To help me. When I ask you to say it, you will just say it and that's all. Because no time to pray. We are, we are closing already. Say after me, say Jesus. No, Jesus. Authorize my helpers. Don't be human me. 
to help me. Everybody say, Amen. Amen. Believe it, don't. Number two. Everybody say, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Authorize my lifter. To lift me. Everybody say, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Authorize my lifter. To lift me. Everybody say, louder, Amen. Amen. Wherever your lifters are, Jesus is authorizing them and they will come hastily to lift you in Jesus' name. Jesus, I know you. My yes, up. Any man that he can, young, young Jesus. You know, I told you before I started the preaching. What God asks us to do. Now, this one is for me. I know it could be for somebody too. Can somebody say, Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Authorize my supporters to support me. Authorize my supporters. You know, if your supporters have been contemplating, we will help him today, we will support him tomorrow. The moment they are authorized, what will stop them? Say it after me. Say, Jesus! Authorize my supporters. To support me. Say amen. amen. This one is for somebody. And I know I am the one. I, I will even speak it better than the way you do. You are going to say, Jesus, Jesus, authorize my benefactors. To bless me. You are coming here tomorrow with a great testimony. Say, Jesus! Jesus! Authorize my benefactor to bless me. Say it after me, Jesus! Authorize my benefactor. To bless me. Everybody say amen. amen. Listen. After today, the Lord will raise new benefactors for you. The next one. Can you say loud and clear? Jesus. Jesus. Authorize the merciful. Authorize the merciful to show me mercy. Authorize the merciful. I know next week you are going for America interview. The merciful will show you mercy. I know you are going for a job interview. Be rest assured it is done. Can you say loud and clear? Jesus! Jesus. Authorize the merciful to show me mercy. Everybody say louder, amen. amen. It remains two. And these two, I love them. Can somebody say Jesus? Jesus. Authorize the king to enthrone me. Mm. Now we will pluralize it. Authorize the kings. Don't mend them. 